Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge, where we have got our first three team members, and this is one of my favorite functions of this game. Are you ready? You can get them all out. There's, look, oh, there's my, there's my team. We have Mercury the Shanks, we have Flockhart the Rowlet, and of course, Luisa the Buizel. Uh, today we are going to be uh, knocking some stuff out, just trying to grind some levels. Then we're going to go uh, head across the bridge, start heading up the mountain, I think, working our way towards Big Cleaver. Uh, everybody, let's go. I'm going to go knock out these Wurmples, no problem. Ready? They're about to freaking die. So this is, it's the battling in this game goes really fast and everything gets experience at all times. So we should be able to just... Um, get some levels real quick. See, boom, Wormple dead. So we just run around, we find another one, we one-shotted it, easy. Boom, look, there's another one, it's going down. See you later, Worms. Yeah, you can really just fly through some grinding here. Dead. Now, the, the tricky thing is that sometimes, like, you can get swarmed, like, if a bunch of things come and hit you. The one we really need to try and make sure we get some, um, experience for is Buizel. We need to get uh, Luisa up because we we're going to need some like strong water moves for sure. Starly's keeping it. Starly's looking around. Starly's about to get freaking pwned. Thunder Shock! Go! Yes. All right. You're dead. You're dead. See you later, Starly. Where's another one? Bring me another one. We want blood. I love to do you have to like physically throw the ball out to fight stuff. That's so fun. Uh, look, if we could like move around in the battle. I can go get behind it. Oh, no, did it run away? Oh, see, maybe I scared it when I did that. That was a bad example. Actually, we should throw Weasel out to get the free experience from harvesting the Africorns. That seems smarter. We're going to have... Boom. Big flock car take out these Bidoofs. Oh, this is such an easy fight, though. Two, level two. We can do better. I didn't even take it out. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Come on now. Go, Gus! Oh, man. We gotta be able to take out a level 2 Badoof. But see what I'm saying? Like, you can get... This is sort of the trouble. That a level 2 Badoof wasn't knocked out by our level 10 stab move. Maybe Leaf, it just isn't that good. Let's see how this goes. It would have been about the same. Roll out! What? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. In fact, I'm not even gonna handle it. Yeah, I'm gonna run away. Uh, see, that's it. They all have like these weird moves that are like weirdly good. They can like hit you for a stab. I've been surprised a lot by the kind of moves the enemy Pokemon have had just out in the wild. Where you think, oh yeah, easy matchup, and then all of a sudden you get hit with something like Rollout from a level 3 Badoof, and you're like, why do you have a powerful rock move at your disposal? That's not cool at all. Let's go fight these Starly. They're going down. They're going to be dead. Oh, it ran away. What? Don't accept. You're going to be destroying things. Get it. All right. Um, can't you think? We don't really have a great matchup for the Shinxes. I guess our own Shinx is probably just better than that Shinx because we're a higher level. Let's see. Level two. Yeah, so we should be okay, right? Quick attack, kablamp attack. Yeah, it's going down. It's got nothing. Yeah, look how much damage, though. Like, hmm. This is, we have to be very careful. We have to be very smart about our matchups in this game. And really probably grind, over grind, because you can just be taken down at a moment's notice, and it's not cool, and I hate that. Um, where else can we fight stuff? Ooh, look, a tree. Go get it. Where's those Bweasel? We can go knock out. If we find an Eevee today, I'm gonna be livid. I'm going to be so mad if we run into one today after so much effort was put into it the other day. We were... We, I hunted for so long for that thing. Oh my gosh. It was, I felt like, I was like, this is the first episode. It's going to be so exciting. Uh, then we didn't get it. That's okay. We got Luisa and Luisa is just better. Paralyzed, unable to move. Looking around, you got nothing. Get him with the old quick attack Kablam, you're dead. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Had to be done. You're going down. Level up. Move mastered. New move. What'd you get? What'd you get? 
change moves. Bite! Excellent move. Excellent move. Yes, we don't care about that. What about you? I don't even know what moves you have. Just quick attack. So we're definitely going to need some new moves for you. Hopefully soon. Hopefully a water move soon. But the good news is we know for sure then that um, they don't have any other moves to hit us with. Like all, all I can hit it with, all they can hit us with is quick attack, right? So. But look how much damage! The level two! I, hate, I don't understand. It feels like too strong. What? Like that didn't kill it! That was super effective and it didn't kill it. Come on, it's weak to us. Oh, like the type, the type matchups don't feel as important somehow. Number you defeated with electric enemies. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's see, we're gonna have to keep a large stock of the berries on hand here so that we don't accidentally run into a very, very bad situation. What is that, what is that? That looks like our next target. going. Thundershock it. I guess we know it has rollout. Maybe. I'm surprised we can't like even half hit these things. They have that good of defense. I guess Crunch did or Bite did pretty good there. Go get some free experience fighting this tree. Do it. Now get some free experience killing this thing. It is so fun just running around though and deciding you're just gonna like wreck the next thing. Let's see, level six Wurmple. Man, it's actually a higher level than us, surprisingly. Let's go, maybe that means we'll get a level out of it. Come on, Luisa, you're the strong one. You're not nervous. You're as tough as the surface of the water at the moment though, so that's not. Grit dust, okay. So this stuff is cool, I guess we can um, use it. We'll give it to Louisa. Um, we're gonna give it to uh, Attack, right? Why not? I think that gives you like bonus is when you level up a little better. Uh, I think is how that's working. I don't know entirely. Medicinal leak, we're gonna need these because we're gonna have to make lots of potions. Go over there, knock out that rock. Knock out this Padoof, it's going down. See how many things we've been able to knock out like so quickly? That's what makes this game good. You can just run around. Ah! Okay, Badoop's paralyzed, but we are still. Maybe I, why am I not using Bite? We've got to be better about this. We cannot afford to make bad decisions. Level five. Oh, come on, come on. Keeping its guard up. Ran away! You dirt bag! How dare you? How dare you? Watch me. I, I swear if the Eevee's over here all of a sudden, it's not. Okay, good. Good. I don't even want to see it. Stay in your hidey hole. Yeah, evolution thing. Go get some free experience, I guess. Man, okay. Um, we've done a bunch of fights. Maybe we're gonna head back up to talk to the professor guy. What do you want? What do I, what do you do? If you're feeling worn out, you can also rest the pass the time if it's nighttime and you're scared of surviving. Okay. I ain't afraid. I'm. I, we spent 10 days looking for Eevee, but other than that, what's going on? Okay, that was a weird screen glitch. Don't like that. All right, Wurmps, you're going down. Level two, Wurmple? Yeah, we got you. Oh, Aqua Jet. Okay, we did get a water move. Wonderful. Maybe we can go Oko some Ponytas or something. Our new Aqua Jet. The good news is that every fight we do also gives every member of the team experience. Not a ton, but some. Ooh, Drifloons. Man, maybe we should have come out at night. We could have had a ghost Pokemon this early. That would have been pretty cool. Flying ghost. It's too late now. Obviously, we can't do it. There's a Ponyta. Let's get some experience from that. Let's go get the rock and the Ponyta. And then we will head back to base camp. That should give us another level, I would think. Heck, maybe this rock will just give us one before we even fight the Ponyta. Right? Wreck it. Where are you going? Don't run from me! Yeah, I'd be afraid to fight Luisa, too, if I were you. Flaming horse. Opponent just keeping its guard up. Keeping its guard up. Load of like, does, does that mean it would have gone three times? Oh. But, okay, see, this is cool. You can see the um, the order of operations here. It's gonna get destroyed. Aqua Jet, go. Good job, Luisa. You did it. Level seven. We're flying through these levels. 
All right, let's get back to base camp so we can get like our next mission or whatever we need to do. So we actually have some some focus on our gameplay rather than just grinding, even though I know you're all loving the grind. Absolutely. Go, Luisa. We're gonna get some free experience from all these things. Keep up our tumblestone count. Not that, see, it's a little bit more important when you're uh, catching lots of stuff, which of course we're not now. But I wanna catch some more Pokemon for the team too. That way, the more Pokemon we have, the more valuable every given fight is, right? Because you just get that much more experience spread to everyone. What, you wanna fight? Let's see, oh, see there's two of them though, so I don't really think I wanna fight these guys. Cause I don't wanna be swarmed just yet. I don't know if, I don't know if Mercury can take on double Shinx. I mean, probably, probably he can. Dive! All right, let's talk to the Professor Purple Hat here. I see you've got two Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, report it up. That's all we've got. That's all we're allowed to catch, Professor. <laughs> oh, we are gonna have so little money, which also means we're gonna have so little bag space because the way you get more bag space is by paying for it and it like increases in price every single time. And uh, yeah, it's, it's slow. Yay. Are we level two? I believe you move up in the ranks. Yay, okay, so at least we're gonna be a two star. Ugh, it's definitely faster if you can catch stuff rather than if you can just fight stuff, but this is the, this is our, um, you know, this is what we chose to do. So, that's, that's, you know, that's the game we're playing. Anyway, let's go level up. Yeah, we did it. We're awesome. <clears throat> You've made progress. You seem to have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of the first star. Oh, we're in first star. Now, not second star. My bad. Now we're not a complete zero rank. Hooray us. All right, then. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you ready in battle. Yep, 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 yep. Have these as well. Thank you. What do we get? A recipe for heavy balls. Excellent. We... Shall go Vivichoke and Medicinal Leak. See, that gets you revives, which would otherwise be good, but we can't use revives because if something dies, it's dead. Most people prefer it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I guess this is a good time to talk about maybe some other little tiny Nuzlocke rules. One, shiny Pokemon, always catchable. Uh, two, if we can have six Pokemon on the team, we must have six Pokemon on the team. So we can't like save one in the box for like a rainy day. Like, oh, we'll only have five. That way if we lose everyone, we can still keep going with that. That said, um, if we lose the whole team, we can continue with Pokemon from the box. We just have to release our entire team, which would be devastating in its own right. Like, we have to lose everything on the team. So, the next day. All right. See you later, Ray. Team Galactic Scum. Hey, Jay, before I meet Mai about the request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Oh, let's see. He has a... Pikachu. So let's say um, no, because I don't want to accidentally send out the wrong one. Ugh, okay, I guess we have to fight. We'll just switch if we need to, but he's got Pikachu. Oh, okay, so we got to go find him and then do the battle. Okay, I was like, I just want to change the order of my team. I want to send out uh, Mercury first, so we've got some protection against you. Not okay, so we would have been fine because we're leading with Mercury right now anyway. So we're good. We're going to go fight Ray. We're going to wreck him. Your Pikachu has nothing! There's like very few trainer battles in this game. They're like, every now and then people will be like, show me your stuff, but it's like they're really short. Uh, I'm gonna be straightforward with you about something. I don't know, anyone can handle. Blah, 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 blah. Your partner? That's right, take a look at my very own partner. Pikachu! Big guy! This is my Pikachu. During that Shinx attack, <laughs> I'm about to. Invoke some serious PTSD for this guy. I'm like, oh, are you afraid of Shinx? <laughs> Behold, Mercury. Yeah, all right. All right, yeah, we get it. We know. Fights. It's a thing. Here we go. Bring it on. Send out your ancient Pokeball. It's very cool looking. Yes, I want to buy one. Yeah, battle stance. Let's go! All right. Let's see how this Pikachu does. It's the same level. 
That's quick attack. We're gonna be, look how much damage I don't like. So we're gonna go bite here. And then hopefully their quick attack just doesn't knock us out, right? Yeah. Yeah, so now we got it. We're gonna bite and we're gonna, as long as we don't miss, yeah, we're good. We win, hooray, we're amazing. You're terrible, you defeat a Pikachu. Does he have another Pokemon? No, battle decided, we win. We're amazing. Oh, also, by the way, I don't know if you can hear it. Ben just got a walking desk. So he's walking on his treadmill over there. That's that rhythmic sound you hear lulling you. All right, that was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. That's right, I'm not. I've had a few. I've had a few. Saved the world a couple of times now. Ah, fair enough. Pikachu's got a big tendency to attack, you see? That's why it normally stays in his ball. The opposite of the regular Pikachu thing, right? Like, never get in your Pokemon. Oh, by the way, Professor said Pokemon have these things called types? Oh, were. what are types? Look at this, they give you a type chart. That's very nice. Uh, memorize it, and we're good. Memorizing the type chart. Not super easy. Name is Zisu, Captain of the Security Corps. Ah, uh, yes, this lady is great. She's got a real Luisa look about her, too, I tell you what. Captain used to a master of the ancient martial art where you guide Pokemon into battle. Now listen. Yep, we can do strong style or at the move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer. Choose to unleash agile style. Less power, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. Might even get one or two moves out. Oh, okay, so okay. Now, we actually have mastered a few moves already. And this is like the difference between like, can we knock out in one shot? Go for the strong move, just boom, give yourself the guaranteed victory. Of course, it's risky because if you don't, then you might get hit twice in a row. Um, so we're going to have to be careful about it. Um, remember I mentioned earlier, I'm heading down to see my scripts. Da -da 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 -da. By ready, I mean, the thing is, the opponent Pokemon will use these a lot. Use these a lot. All right, request for my, I want to go, wait, can I talk to you about stuff yet? Uh, I want new moves. Yeah, okay, this is actually... Awesome, watch this, we can just get new moves. So we're gonna go ahead and just get uh, Ice Fang, Thunder Thing, and Fire Fang for Shinx right now. Ready? <laughs> 1500, easily worth it. Look at the insane type coverage. That's why Mercury is so good in the early game. Let's see what kind of, uh, oh, not check summary. Um, do you want, select, what kind of moves can you get? Magic Leaf, let's check our summary real quick. Um, wait, thousand, Aerial Ace and Magic Leaf seem really good. I think we pretty much have to get those. Um, there's almost no way, yeah. Hiya! Yeah, we're gonna want those real quick. Yep. Um, I don't know if there's anything you can get. Check summary, we've got very little money left at this point. But that's okay, let's see. What are you better at, attack or special attack? Pretty even at the moment, so I think we're fine there. You are definitely better at physical attack. Let's see if there's any moves we can get for you. Bulk up, swift, rock smash, that could be good. Um, just so we have like a fighting type on the team. Yeah, I'm gonna get it, why not? We, we cannot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, excellent. That is very good, that's a huge upgrade for the team. Nothing in particular. See you later. Let's go ahead and give the team all their new moves. Uh, change moves. This is such a nice thing you can do. Roost! Oh, that's good. Rest the, the user lands and rests its body. Okay. So we're just going to use Aerial Ace instead of Gust. We're just going to add... Nope. No. We're going to add Roost down there at the bottom. So now we have Magic Leave. Never misses. Pelting the target with leaves. So one's just physical. Yeah, I mean, leafage really isn't that great by comparison, but we're gonna stick with that. Uh, yes, we're happy with that move set. Ta-da! Excellent. Aerial is a magical leaf. Let's go ahead and change your moves as well, Mercury. Obviously, we're gonna move in Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, and I, oh man. The question is, do we want the quick attack there as like an option to like finish stuff off or do we go for the bite and we're just like biting everything? Um, do we want the bite? Uh, I think we're gonna go for the bite. It seemed way more powerful thus far. 
There we go. Yep. But look at that. Right out of the gate, we have all of that coverage. So really good Pokemon to have on your team if you're looking for one. Not that I doubt anyone. Oh, let's just, yeah. Okay, confirm. All right, so we have Aqua Jet and Rock Smash. So we have a lot of coverage already. All of that, extremely good. Now, where do we go? Out here? Do we have to change our clothes again? Can we? Can we buy new clothes? No, we shouldn't waste money on clothing just yet, probably, <laughs> since we just spent so much money on moves. Uh, here we go. Let's get out there. Let's go do some stuff. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Yeah, I'm heading. Let's go. Boo! Ah! What's up, dude? Did I surprise you? I was trying to. <laughs> Hilarious. What do you want? It's what I call the secret backstrike. Oh, this is... So basically, if you throw a, po a Pokeball at the back of a Pokemon, you get a, like an increased chance to catch because you surprise them. It's pretty good. You should know that. I'm already looking forward to your comments, Dad. Hooray. Awesome. All right, here we go. Now I have to go down the hill. So now Luisa has a fighting type move. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can make use of it on this Bidoof. We can rock smash it right in its big front teeth. Give it the old rock smashing tin, Bidoof. Bam. Defense stats lower. That's pretty good too. I like to see it. I like to see it. And then we go for the quick attack. Boom. Job, Luisa. You did it. Get them levels. Almost. Almost got the level. What else can we wreck? Let's go Thunderfang something. Try out our new elemental teeth. Starless keeping it. Ran away? Oh man, what a waste. What a waste. Lowest level, you get to fight the tree. Higher level with Thunder. You're gonna fight the Starly. Thunderfang. Level two, though. We're not gonna get a lot of experience out of that, are we? Nope. Oh, close. Close. All right, you look like you're gonna get a level if you do this, so let's do that for you. Let's go to level 11. It'd be great if we could evolve um, Flockhart as well. There we go, yeah. Yeah, get out of my way. There are many strong Pokemon on there. Make their side home on this side of the bridge. Oh, I'm a first ranker, all right. Yeah, yeah, get out of, ooh, Krikatot. I don't know if we want Krikatot though. Not like, you know, particularly good. Uh, over here! Okay, are we are gonna have to fight like an alpha Krikatoon. Maybe that's what we're leading up to at the end of this episode. We fight the Krikatoon at the top of the hill, if I recall. This here's Jay, so we need to make sure, one, that Flockhart is good to go because we're gonna use a flying aerial ace on it and we need to be able to switch into What's their butt? Uh, Mercury, so we can use Fire Fang if we need to. Boy, this is some cool leggings you've got on there. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. Look, Diamond. Oh, it's the Diamond and Pearl Clans. Do you get it? I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to history. But such talk and wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need solving, and only one person in this whole country can do it, and they just fell out of the sky. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon to the battle? Uh, yes, absolutely. Great. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. <laughs> of course not. This here's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without need for silly Pokeballs that you use. Yeah, whatever. Oh, are we fighting? Bring it. Bring it, dude. Come on. What are they going to have? If they knock me out, so help me. Um, let's go Aerial Ice. The boom. Ooh, only okay. Rollout. Uh oh. Oh, bad news. Fixated on using rollout. Oh, this is actually bad. We're gonna need a switch. No. Um, but if we switch, crud. Crud muffins. Oh man. Oh no. So we need to be able to hit it with rock smash. Oh no, but it's gonna get stronger. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Rock smash. Please just knock it out in one go. Oh no. Lower its defense. Please don't kill us. If it doesn't kill us, we should be okay. <gasps> it's very close now. I think we have it. We should have it with this rock smash. Please, please kill it. 
Do you see how dangerous, how, um, oh my gosh, we almost lost Louisa just now, just so quickly. Wow. Louisa leveling up. That's why we must level up a lot. We have to fight so much stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Munchlax. Sorry, not sorry. I had a feeling they were gonna have a rock type move. We are so bad against rock types. We need to have, a, I mean, we have Vivid Chokes. I mean, those would be good, except that we, uh, we, we're not going to be able to make use of revives. And those are used for that. It's a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you, to deer track heights? Of course I will. Be there in a moment. Huh? Your arc phone is beeping. It's that strange thing gummy of yours telling you where to go. My, my. That was a curious sort of device. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions? What, did you invent the internet all of a sudden? I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. Yeah, no problem at all. Whatever, it's fine. Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps. Yep, that's me. I'm amazing. Tough. Before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Uh, yes, of course I do. I was once greeted by Arceus himself. He sent me here through the sky. Though I'm not certain you've been told the true story. The truth is this. All meaty Sinnoh steers all time. It's a, I think, see, the Pearl Clan and the Diamond Clan are fighting because they... Um, they both worship Sinnoh, which is actually Arceus. However, um, what's really happening is that the Diamond Clan is interpreting Arceus as the Alga, and the Pearl Clan is interpreting Arceus as Palkia. One thing. Like, so they're like, no, Arceus controls time. And the other was like, no, Arceus controls space, but they call Arceus Sinnoh. It's obviously why the region is eventually going to be called Sinnoh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deer Trachites. Guess we can catch up there. Deer. But also, follow me and you'll understand. Okay. Where are we is the question. Are we in a new area? I don't actually think... It's not labeled yet. So we can't quite catch anything just yet. Are our Pokemon healed? They are. Good. All right. We've got Louisa out front. Deer track path. Okay, so we can catch something here. But what? But what? I see Starly. I see Cricketot. There must be more. I think we can do better than Starly and or Cricketot, you'd think, right? Those seem like low-end options to me. Not that, like, Starly is bad. Like, it's definitely the superior of the two in this scenario. What's that guy want? More Starly. But I think we can probably do a little better. I don't know what else is otherwise here, though. I'm gonna have to look around for a hot second. There's another Bweasel. See, this is why we could have caught a Bweasel elsewhere. Uh, let's let um, Mercury take this guy down. A little Thunder Fang. Oh, level nine. Oh goodness, Aqua Jet. Do you see this? <sighs> it's so strong. Yeah, one hit, one kill. But like. We have a type advantage, and they just came in and smacked us real quick. Let's let Flashark at the level here, I think. Um, right, Stardust. Okay. Use. Heal. Heal. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, even so, the level 9 fight is good because it gets us lots of experience for the whole team. What else is over here? There's more Starly. Gotta be something besides Star- Oh, gosh. Alpha Floatzel. We do not want to go near that thing just yet. More Bweezel. There's gotta be more than just Bwe- Like, the stuff we've already caught, though, right? Don't you dare attack me. Stuff in the water? Can we catch stuff in the water? I guess not. No! You dare! All right, you're going down. You asked for a fight. Level 10! Oh, It makes me nervous. Thunderfang, get him. One shot, one kill. Yeah, okay. The good news is we're insanely strong. So we're just taking them out real fast. Um, but we are going to be very um, liberal with our use of <laughs> the berries. I've not committed to catching anything yet. We're still on Star... Starly's still my choice, but... I mean, Staravia 
and Staraptor are pretty good. Krikatoon is terrible, Krikatot's terrible, and we already have the Buizel, so who's to say? Maybe, I don't know, maybe we could like switch it to nighttime and then come back over here. Don't you dare fight me, dude. I've had enough of your type already. Got more than enough to deal with. More Starly, Krikatot again, uh-huh. Can we go further up the path? I guess deer track path. Or were we even on deer track path for a second there? We might have to catch a starly. Not oh, so boring. No, or maybe it continues up the actual path itself, right? That would make more sense. What do you want? What do you want? Oh there, mind helping a guy out after some cherry berries, you know him? All right. So if I guess we just bring you some cherry berries. That's all we gotta do? All right. Oh, do we already have some? Uh, yeah, here you go. Give me stuff. That'll be $3,000, please. Don't you. Trees that bear berries. What'd you give me? Pokeballs? Okay, I guess that's nice. I guess. Heading up. Good job. Good job, Louisa. Aha! A Geodude! Now we're talking. Alright, I think Geodude is a perfectly fine catch and a good addition to the team. As it were. Alright, so let's see if we can... Oh, at least one of them's angry at us. Oh, they're both angry. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna find them both or just the one. So we don't wanna knock it out, that's the thing. That's the curious problem here. Um, if we just hit it with a quick attack, how does that go? Almost nothing! Bad. Oh my gosh, look at the tackle on that thing! Maybe we just go straight for the Pokeball. Let's just see how it goes. Come on, just do it, just work. Yes, okay, wow. <laughs> the nerve wrackingness of catching a Geo dude, though, right? Oh my gosh. Uh... I guess you're, no, your health is the one that's down. Take another one, man, just full heal. You know, you too, new Geo dude. Also, we're gonna need a quick name for this Geo dude. We're gonna have to call in Master Namer real quick. Ben! Yo, I need a name. Hey, come on, let me turn my desk off. That's a normal thing to say. We have a, a female Geodude. We got a female Geodude? Yeah. A, a Geodudette? A Geodudette, as it were. Hmm. How about, hmm. Do you know how to spell nice? G N E I S S? What, G, N, say e, it again? I think E, I, nice. That's a kind of rock. Nice, okay. Nice, nice. Welcome to the team, nice. Let's see what kind of moves you got here. Mud slap, tackle and roll out. Uh, all right. Works for me. I'm in. Let's use the grit dust on the Geo dude, right? Pump that up to there. Then let's go. See, I'm not, I'm not really that concerned about Geodudes in general because we can also just go ahead and do this nonsense. Whoops. And just knock it out. Hey, how about you fight it? Gotta get them levels up. Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet. Oh, are you serious? It didn't. Like, how did it not, how did it not knock it out? We need to master this move so we can strong style some Aqua Jet or get another water type move, right? Jeez. Level up. All right, that's good. Nice is actually um, already level 10, which is pretty cool. Let's see how nice does. Let's, have, let's give it a quick fight maybe. Bring it on, Starly. You've got nothing. 
This should be a real... Oh, you ran away. I'd run away from nice, too. That should be free experience. That should just count as a win, right? Look at this guy. Angry level 9 again. Keeping your guard up. Mm -hmm. Ran away! Stop it! You guys are such... Jerkosaurus Rexes about it. Boom! It's gonna be another Geodude that we're gonna fight. Startle Geodude! Yeah, it's going down. It's going Aqua Jet. Boom! Gosh, they have such high defense. It's all right, we're gonna get it. Dead. Good job, Louisa. As usual. As usual. Nothing to fear, ever. Number of moves you defeated with a water type. So is that already gonna be... Can we, are they expecting us already to go fight the alpha Pokemon? Let's see. I don't, I'm sure we'll be able to say no. Um, or maybe it'll just appear and then we can go decide if we want to fight it or not. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. <laughs> what are you doing out here? What are you doing? Oh, thank goodness I got here in time. As a professor research, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? Hmm, I suppose that's your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. Stay out of the way, indeed. Uh-huh. And it's going to be the big Cricketoo. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Delilla whoop! Aha. Uh -huh. That's not it. <laughs> She's like, no, 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 no. Definitely not the Cricketoo. Okay, all right. Everyone relax. It's not that. Delilah whoop! That's what you're here for, Jay. Get rid of that thing. Oh, wait, do you not send me in yet? What a large specimen. Oh boy, I do not feel prepared. I'm being real. Do not send me in. No, let me choose not to go. Oh my gosh, please don't send me in. I'm not ready. Okay, yeah. See ya. We're gonna, oh look, a Stantler. Deer track heights, eh? More Geodudes. Let's go fight those Geodudes. That's what we want to do. Experience! Oh, it's a double fight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Aqua Jet. One shot, one kill. Do it. Oh, no. Geodude's looking around. Roll out. Butts. Oh, it did so much damage. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Fight it. Aqua Jet it. Okay. Get some experience. Please level up. Okay. See, we could use Flockhart here, but doing so makes me extremely nervous because... Oh, come on. Because we're weak to rock. And look how much damage we're taking to it when we're not... Without even being weak. That said, we do want to level up Flockhart for the sake of the Cricketune fight because um, we have the uh, flying type attacks then. Okay, these things have hypnosis and they can hit you, but we're not in. Oh, we're in Deer Track Heights now, so we can catch this. We can catch the Stantler. Is there anything else we want to try and catch while we're up, though? Stantler's not bad. Good normal types. Ooh, look. See, already though, there's like a Staravia over there. That could be pretty good. Uh, do we want Staravia or... I feel like Stantler could be pretty good. We've had Stantlers before that did all right. I think we're going to go for the Stantler, because we can get weirdier at some point then, and that's like a psychic typing. And it's a little more exciting, right? Let's see if we can just catch this thing sans any battle. Bam! Boom! We got it! Look at the levels! Look at the levels! Level 14! Suddenly the strongest member of the team! Wait, where's Ben? He's not here! All right, we're going to have to wait for Ben before we get an official name for Stantler. Let's see what Stantler the Mantler. Tackle confusion. confusion. So now, already on the team, we have really good type coverage across the board. Um, yes. 
I'm gonna quit with the move changing. Wait a minute, what was that? These things are terrible. They are literally, I think, just here to take up inventory space from you. Ben! Hello. I have another name. Was I needed? You were needed. Well, we have Stantler. a Stantler. I feel like we're seeing some familiar faces here. There's no doubt, there's no doubt. Who was our last Stantler? It had a really cool name. Morozova. Morozova. Yeah, Morozova, the Stantler. Would it be too on the nose for it to be prongs? I mean, you're a master namer. I like prongs. 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 Yes. Prongs it is. The team grows. The team grows. Prongs is here. All right. Uh, in that case, let's see. Whoops, we have prongs. Fighting these guys might be the fastest way to get experience, but it also might be a tad bit risking it for the biscuit. it, you know what I'm saying? Like, they are. Our main concern is leveling up, I think. You. So let's just see how it goes. Um, oh boy. I want you to level up, though. Let's see how we do with you. What level is this thing? If we need to run, we'll run. Level 12, we're level 13. All right. Damn, keep this card up. It, ha it ran away! All right, let's see how we do. Uh, boy, I feel, let's see. I think we can take it down with Magic Leaf. Like, because they have weak special defense and they're weak to it. So let's just see. I feel like this should go really well. Yes, okay, that's good to know. Now we're on to something. Excellent. Level 14. Let's go there. Let's grab a little experience there. Let's go here. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to we're going to try and evolve and then go do the cricket tune fight is what we're thinking. Magic leaf. Go. Kill that dude to level 13. Oh! And in a one shot, that's going to be some mad experience. Yes, very good. Very good. All right, we're just going to go geodude hunting now. I don't think we care about the Stantlers. We just want to fight fight the Geodudes. Because it's easy level ups is what it is. And that's what we're looking for. Easy experience. We want our Dartrix. Get out of here. Stantlers. Stantler the Mantla. We have prongs. We don't need you. Oh, a Zubat. Interesting. Glad we didn't wait for the Zubat. Am I right? Jeez. Maybe we should have waited for an, I wonder if there's anything else that we could have caught at night, though. I mean, everyone makes fun of Zubat, but Crobat's a very good Pokemon, right? So, uh, there's always that to consider. Geodude, going down, magically. Wreck it. Wrecking it for breakfast. So dead. All right, do not care about these dumb things. Get out of my way. I don't want to fight more Geodudes. There's one. Oh, it seems like nighttime has hurt the Geodude spawn rate and turned up the, uh, whatchamacallit spawn rate, the Zubat spawn rate. Everyone's, f oh no, there's two in here. All right, so first of all, we're gonna go Magic Leaf on the Geodude, because that's an instant KO. And then maybe we'll switch to Geodude to fight the Zubat. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Switch into nice. It's all experience for everyone anyway. It's just a little bit more for some. Gust! How dare you. Roll out! Boom! Yes, nice! Very nice, indeed. What you like to see? There's a Geo, dude. It's about to get wrecked. About to get wrecked. Level nine? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Magic leaf that thing. Right in its face. Right in its face! Beautiful, you love to see it. So I'm gonna do level 15. We're getting very close, very close. I wonder how easy these crypto pots are. Let's get some warm up, go ahead and die. We should be able to aerialize this thing real easy. Level eight though, it's not a ton of uh... Bam, Lockhart. Everyone should be fearing, oh boy. Those things look a little more dangerous. So they're, do we have anything that's good against them? I guess Mercury could be good against. Oh boy, look out! 
give it the old bite. Oh, there's two. Okay. You're going for hypnosis. Oh, no. Avoided the attack. Well done, Mercury. Oh, gosh. Look how much damage that did. Was that half? No. Close, though. Oh, I don't know if it's worth it. I think we need to run. Yeah, sorry. Get back here. All right, see ya. Never mind. Number of times you've seen confusion. Great, great. Glad that happened. That may as well have happened. Man, I think we would have been fine if there wasn't two of them. I wouldn't have felt nearly as nervous about doing it. But we needed to run from that situation so that we did not end up... Get away from me, Zubat. Everyone hates you! A little bit of 15 experience. Not as effective as it once was, eh? First is, can we hunt down more Geo deads over here? There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more. I feel like we only need a few. Really get the effect of, uh... uh you guys, there's a big Parasect down there. Oh no, we didn't catch the Parasect. Ah! Well, you know what? That's, that's disappointing. Maybe it's a new area. Maybe if we go down the hill, it'll be a new area. There you go. You did, Geodude. Level 7, though. Not quite going to cut it. Close. Every bit of experience counts. There's a bunch of Paris. Oh, please let it be a different area. Nature's Pantry! <gasps> it is a different area. Okay, so... Oh, goodness. Big boy Parasect. Big boy Parasect. Big boy Parasect. Oh, but see, it's an Alpha. Do we risk fighting an Alpha? Trying... Should we try and catch the Alpha Parasect? Oh, no! Ah! 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 Decisions! Ugh. Okay. I can tell you for sure that that Parasect is level 30. Because I caught it in my main playthrough. And I don't... I just don't think we could find a level 30 thing at the moment. However, I think there's no way we can't pick up a Paris. There's no way. I... I uh. Okay. Okay. Alright, what we're gonna do is go way over here. Oh, oh, it wants to fight. There's two of them. They want to fight. Let's see. Can we, those two, they're, they're all very aggressive. Oh, and the big one's on us, too. All right, all right. Everyone back up, back up. You there. Oh, it wants to fight! Get out! No, not this. Let's go. You! Go prongs! Alright, Paris level 10. Here we go. The moment is here. Tackle! Use the absorb. Alright, alright. Then we're gonna go. I think we can just get it right now. Boom! We got Paris. It's not it's not Alpha Parasect, but it is Paris. All right, better need a name. What? 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 We have a Paris. No, we don't. We do. We do. The chosen one? The ch exactly. Oh, the chosen okay. one. Oh, if it's a male, Neo. 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 Yeah. yeah. It has to be. It has to be. Neo the Paris, welcome I'm so, to the I'm team. So excited. Oh my gosh. The day we've all been waiting for is finally upon us. We have a Paris on the team. We're basically unstoppable as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> There they are. There's three more. That looks like money. That looks like evolution. If I've ever seen it. Oh, is it going to be a double fight? Certainly we don't want to be hit by two things.
dead. Oh, we should have hit this one first. It's a little bit stronger. How great is Flockhart? He's the real deal. More than is exactly what the legends say. There it is. All right. Can evolve. That's what we're talking about. All right. Ready? Double evolution time. Evolving! Victory! Yay, Dartrex! How fun! And, and... Here we go! Mercury! Just like that. The team is looking... Solid! Let's go fight a cricket tune. We are ready! I have to make our way back to the arena. Number you've evolved. How many are you supposed to evolve? That's why this game is going to take some people forever. Because it's going to be like, oh yeah, in order to beat the game, you need to evolve 17 Rowlets. That's how you really know the Pokedex. Oh, go faster, Jay. Go, little Jay. Well, we really lost our way up here. I wouldn't say lost our way, we just took the scenic route back, right? Dive! There we go. Run, 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 run. All right, we head in. It's going down. Oh wait, do I have to go talk to it? I was so prepared to just like run in and fight. That would have so dead. Delilah, whoop! You got nothing, bro, I'm... You're going down. Come on, fly car. I guess we could have caught the cricket tune, but like, dude, why would we ever want to? You know what I mean? We don't need to know that. Fighting with wild might. Level 12. Perhaps we are. Look how much damage! Oh, gosh! 62, 62 is 120. Oh my gosh, we are like right on the freaking line. I'm so nervous. You're going for it, Aerialist. You got this. I believe in you, Dartrix. <gasps> no. Oh, no! Who died? No, are you kidding? Are you kidding after all that work? No. No, 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 no. Ben, our starter just died. No. Are you kidding? No! I cannot. Just, we're five levels high. It did 62. Did I just do that math wrong? I think I did. Because 62 and 62 is 124. So obviously it was going to do it. Oh my gosh, I should have. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I don't even know. That was terrible. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was, okay, sorry. We fast forwarded a little bit. Basically, we came back to camp. I was in loss. I was in denial. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we lost Flockhart. That's the earliest we've ever lost a starter Pokemon. We evolved, we spent so much time this episode just trying to evolve it. And then it immediately, oh. Oh, it really hurts. It That is just terrible. That like. Mm. Oh, it just <sighs> makes me so upset. But it, like, I think it's a great example for how hard this game's gonna be. Like, we were five levels up on that thing. We hit it with a super effective mood. Like, oh my gosh, did I did I do the math wrong? Or was it just like a max min problem? I can't even. This should have been like it would be thirty eight and 22 is 60. It did 60 damage. It did 60 damage to us, and we had... Right, so we it, sh 
it did more the second time, is what happened. Like, we should have been able to survive it based on how it did the first. Oh my god, I think it's so bad. Anyway, guys, leave your condolences for Flockhart in the towel section down below. Sorry to end on such a low note. At the very least, we did catch, we did evolve Mercury. We got past our first trial. Gosh, that was. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I was so looking forward to playing with Rowlet and Decidueye. <sighs> well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment so we can get a Pokemon named after you. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of deaths. Until next time. Bye. And before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Monden, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineres, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Ballantyne, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Dead spork. <laughs>